a long time ago in a snack far, far away. Do 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 And welcome back to our Chex Mix Max Snack Attack Pack. I am Lee and this is Jen. Hey, what's up? You were hitting those high notes pretty good. Thank you. Yes, I am a talented singer. Uh, but we're not here to sing today. We're here to bring you Max. We're brought to you by Chex Mix. Snack. Yeah. Snack time. Um, we're going to go ahead and be reviewing these three Chex Mix Max snacks. Uh, brought to you by Chex Mix, our sponsor today. Uh, also, Chex Mix, the snack that smiles back. Brought to you by Brian and Barb. Brought to you by really Brian and Barb. <laughs> what it comes down yeah. to. Brought to you by the castles. We ain't getting any money from Chex Mix. Unless you want to, Chex Mix, monetize this. Think about it. Think about it. Um, but yeah, we're going to be basing these off of what categories? Flavor, texture. I'm just going on whether it's... And whether or not it's good. Whether it's with right. the goodness. All right, so we got good or bad. We got texture and flavor from, from my side. Um, we're going to kick things off. Let's go ahead and kick it off with the jalapeno chili. Now, for those of you that aren't aware, um, there's a brand of snack mix called, not snack mix, uh, snack called Takis. And they also Taki do Ruba. jalapeno chili. That's a very common uh, flavor, ooh, very common flavor of theirs. Um, it's more of a southern delicacy. Which are maybe? you smell that. most excited about? I can smell that from all the way back here. Uh, I'm not most excited about this one, but it's already open. It smells straight like. So, before we get into like texture. Sniff it, yo. I want to find that other one. Where is it? Here it is. smells like a jar of jalapenos. So, I want to show you this before we actually eat these. This fire is a piece of Chex. This one. <gasps> Can I get a bowl? And the, they're from the same bag, mind you. But yeah, uh, otherwise they look kind of like checks. Um, I mean, they are checks. I mean, they are checks. Yeah. Because you got the variety. The flavor of the seasoning that's left on my fingers is not too, not really spicy. There's a hint of spices, um, but I would not be able to tell you that's chili. I would maybe be able to place jalapeno. Are we ready? Are we doing it? Jeez. All right. Fine. fine. Well, I think you got to... If it's a Chex mix, you gotta have an assembly yeah. of the Chex. Well, that's fine now. I already licked it, so you can have it if you that's want fine. it, man. Um, I need a pretzel. Is there a pretzel in there? I could also use one At of these the meat rice. All right. All right. See, we got a mix. Cheers. Come by. Oh, I'm not excited about the. Why do I have two spices? Taste like nothing. Mm -hmm. There's pretzel, there's spice, there's salt. So, unlike normal Chex Mix and like most other Chex I've had, ooh, wow. Watch That's out for the heat at the end. It starts out with almost no flavor at all, like almost like a mm -hmm. a bready, like a pretzel without any flavor. You're just chewing. Mm -hmm. But then as you continue to chew, <clears throat> exactly, um, you start tasting the pretzel, you start tasting the individual Chex pieces, um, and then you start getting the spices. And then they creep up on you. Just. And they creep up on you a little more. Oh, no. Oh, no. It just, oh, just eat one of the pieces. Just eat one, one of the pieces. Wow. So it's like, it's, it's like when you have a bag of Doritos and you get all the powder and the dust in the bottom, all the flavor, all the good stuff. And you get to the bottom and you're so excited because it's like, this is it. You always... You aspire for the chips that have all the dust on them, and then you find a pile of dust, and you're so excited. Honestly, it's not bad. She's and then you eat it. it, and it is overwhelming. It is not what you expect it to be. It's very good. It's so got you, a good flavor. When you mix them, as a checks mix one, mm -hmm. like they mix very well by mm. themselves, though they're a little strong. I will say so. One thing collectively, I know we've only tried the one. One thing I like about these is, like, with Chex Mix, you're tempted to, like, pick apart all the little pieces yeah. and all the flavor bombs. You want those, and you want to get rid of the breadsticks and the pretzels and all that other crap that no one wants. 
But with this, it's like you almost need to pair the flavor bomb with a pretzel. With so, everything to yeah. balance the heat. So this will help keep people from, like, picking out stuff. Yeah. So Chex Mix Maxed Jalapeno Chili. We give it... Uh, Is it? Yeah. Jalapeno? Jalapeno Chili. Hmm. Um, texture, on par with what you expect from Chex Mix. Flavor, starts with nothing, then packs you with heat. And some general spices. As I drool, don't mind me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Taste was it good? Salad. Yes, it was good. That was... Very good. I'm also stoked about those cheese bits. I will say, whoa! All right, well, you got you can't just pour this out. You gotta tell no, the folks I, at home what we're pouring. We're working on the Buffalo I Ranch. We'll do what I want. Well, we're filming this as a taste test. We gotta tell people what we're taste testing. I'm not Buffalo testing Buffalo Ranch it. Max Chex Mix, brought to you by the cast. You need to chill out, dude. Um, similar to our jalapeno chili, we have a mix. We can see those very uh, dark and spiced up pieces. Uh, we do have the old fashioned rye bread chips. So, this one I'm looking very much forward to. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you snatched the bag out of my hand. See, this one doesn't have the same. Yeah, it does not have that the same. That other one, kick. like, literally just smelled like a jar of jalapenos. There's something outside, Allie's. Oh, yeah, she's been going back and forth. And this one does not. I do appreciate that they have a difference in pieces. So, like, the jalapeno one has the window pane pretzels. That's round. And that has the cheddar triangles, and these have right chips. the window panes, oh. too. Nice try, though. Whatever, man. I'm not stoked about the texture of these individually. Like, mm. they're almost smell the, smell that. waxy. Got a nice buffalo smell. Yeah, there's like a faint smell, but it's it's nothing near what the other one is. Like it's not pungent. Pun pie. Ooh. This one has a lot more flavor up front. It really does. Yeah. You get the the mm -hmm. sweetness of the ranch at the beginning, followed by the buffalo spice. Not nearly as hot spice wise. Mm -mm. Or heat wise, this one makes me want to have a little bit more right away. Just have a chunk though, try the chunk because that's where. Oh, well. mm. that's interesting. It is, it leans heavily towards the ranch. Like, I didn't expect there to be such a strong ranch presence. Oh, that's good. Oh, well, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. it's good, and it still has. I think it almost has the same level of heat yeah. as the jalapeno ones, just like in the back of my throat. Hmm. Maybe it's just because I ate a straight chunk. So I had a straight chunk too. Oh. I did not get that heat level. This one's good though. Mm -hmm. Snackability. Very snackable. Very snackable. Mm -hmm. Ooh, now the heat's starting to kick up See? a little bit. That's what I'm saying. So the more you have of this one, the heat does creep. Um, that said, I'm totally willing to dive into more of it. Like We also haven't eaten, so... This is our lunch today. We gambled whether or not we should do snacks first and then lunch or reverse it. And we made perhaps the wrong decision of snacking before lunch. Mm, so one, here we are. That one's going to be hard to beat, but what do we have next? Check next mix. Spicy dill. Flavor blasted. Dill pickle checks. Interesting. So dill pickle checks pieces. Plus spicy Chex Mix. Plus so I wonder if the dusty Chex are pickle or like dill flavored and all the other stuff is spicy. Plus ranch Chex Mix. Plus jalapeno Jetter Chex Mix. Hey Oliver, be good. Cats. Cat Whoa. Whoa. Stick your oh schnoz in that. So first one. We get the spicy. Second one Mouser. wasn't really, it was very muted smell. That's straight. This one right hey, away. Hey, don't be a dick. Oliver, stop. Sorry. Now Chex Mix won't monetize us. There's language. Yeah, Bye. this one right away hits you with dill. Like, dill pickle all the way. Pour out the mix. Oh, this one's interesting. So all the other ones had those dark red checks. Mm -hmm. These are very 
light, almost look like they're fried. Like, don't they? Yeah. No, they really do. Oh, man. Like fried pickles. Yeah. I'm very excited mm. to try this one. Gotta cleanse your palate, man. <clears throat> so this one also has little triangles. It, this one does not have the rye chips, nor pretzels, mm -hmm. it looks like. No, it Although, a, oh, there is a pretzel right in there. Okay. I think it's just that we poured so little out yeah. of the bowl. Oh, no, there is another pretzel in the bottom. It is very heavily... Seasoned? Yeah, flavor bomb, though. Yeah. In terms of just, like, ratio, there's a lot. So even on the non-flavored, super-flavored checks, like, this is really, really crystally. Like, so those are supposed to be there. the spicy part. Okay. Yeah. I'm interested to see if the if the dusty ones really are just dill. Let's find out. Oh. Flavor right away, dill. Bam. Oh. Not picking up on the heat yet. It's there. But the, the the dill. Up oh, there's the heat. Woo. So, all dill. Immediately bite down dill pickle flavor. Mm. Not until like three to five seconds before I started feeling the heat. And now it's creeping up, replacing mm -hmm. the dill flavor. Fascinating in terms of like, I guess, molecular gastronomy. I got to say, I was really excited about this one. I was expecting this one to be my favorite. When I first, when I first did the handful, I got the flavor bomb right up front. And the seasoning like grated off on the back of my teeth, which was such an unpleasant experience. Not a very nice texture. The flavor is pretty good. I feel like there's too much dill. No? Have you had just one by itself? It's I'm, really good. I'm nervous. That one, look at the like, it's got a tumor on the back. It's got a tumor of seasoning on the back of it. Look at that. Mm, I don't it think. It does come with the heat too. Wow. There's something about the texture of those on their own that is it is a little off-putting. Unpleasant. I don't. It doesn't bother me. Like, mm. it's like it's almost too sour. Yeah. Okay. You know, like I am salivating a lot. So, if we had to rank these in order. It's also spicy. Yeah. Um. Best, favorite, least favorite. Where would you put them? Mm. You know, I'm surprised, I think. So my, my expectation for what I would prefer, I thought I would like the spicy dill the most, then the buffalo ranch, then the jalapeno chili. But I think you'll thank me. Are these one of Yep. All at once? Yep. If I don't enjoy the texture of one, I feel like I will not thank you for three. Oh, so weird. Don't think about the flavor. Think about the or texture. Think about the flavor. I can't not think about it as if I do. Okay. It's like Eating just the center of combos. Oh, God. Okay, that's valid. It's a so very that's the thing. I, mean, I don't know very if that's good. a thing you you know that I do. I, like, suck this stuff out of the center of combos and then eat the pretzel afterwards. Those pieces are exactly like that, like, cheese spice cream in the center of combos. It's a very good. Like, texture-wise and flavor-wise. Mm -hmm. It's very, like, whip yeah. Very potent in those cheddar mm -hmm. flavors and salt flavors. Man, this is tough. What you like, do you still like the buffalo the best? So definitely jalapeno chili, third place. Chili. Dill pickle. Let me, hold on. Let me. This one's dill. I know. The good snack ability, buffalo. buffalo gets first place. Dill, I like it. I can see why you don't. It is a very rich, and strong, present flavor. Mm. 
Texture doesn't bother me at all, and probably that's why the dill is still really good. So your tops the buffalo, then the dill. Those are two very close, far third. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this is my guy. I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. okay. I think that's it. Something about that. So I know I mentioned the dill one is sour, and there's something about that that's off-putting, but the chili lime is sour in a way that is not, it is on-putting. Now I want pudding. So that's going to be our next challenge next week. <laughs> Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us what your favorite is. Do you guys prefer the Buffalo Ranch, spicy dill, jalapeno chili? Did I tell you they have a bet? Oh, no, I, I told heard. you. Okay. Yeah. I'm interested. I'm interested to hear what you, what your thoughts on our thoughts are. Uh, what are we doing next time? Next time. What we got? What we got? You just said we're doing pudding. I think next time we'll do. We'll do the non-spicies because we've got three spicies left. So we'll do the the hot dog and the chili relleno. So we'll do the chip edition. I got to say, I'm simultaneously excited and terrified about these hot dog chips. I don't think they're going to be as bad as you think. It's gonna I don't be like think they're going to be flavor, bad. I like think they're going to be flavor. good in a really weird way. And then I'm going to feel weird about liking things that taste like hot dogs. Anyway. Anyway. Until thank next you time. for sponsoring round number two. Jalapeno chili. It is. You can have the buffalo. Buffalo ranch. It is. I'll take this one too. <laughs> Until next time, tune in to Maxed. Well, I mean, next time it won't be Maxed. We need a name. We'll figure this we'll figure out. It. One of these you know, days. We'll yeah. Bye. Bye. 17 minutes. Jesus.